What is going on guys, Greedo XP here, and we are going to do a new series on my channel. And with it coming up to my 40th birthday, yes, I know, I am an old person, I nearly said something else. Uh, um, we're going to look back at some of my favourite games from over my lifetime, and it'll be a good idea to do it, and it's, it'll be interesting, and I hope you guys enjoy the series. Uh, any names for the series? Well, you know, drop it in the comments and I'll take it under consideration. Not rude, please. Um, today, we are going to take you back to the 1980s. A simpler time for video games and a very simpler time. Yes, we are going to play Through the Wall from 1982, although I didn't play it till about 1987. And I'll get on to that, I'll explain why in a few minutes. It was released for the Spectrum ZX and is basically based on the brilliance that is Breakout by Atari. So basically this company did it for Spectrum. It's basically a knockoff game. Back in the days where you can get away with knockoff games. So, uh, so this is how simple it was. Uh, basically, just use the keyboard P to move right, O to move left. Simpler times for video games. So, um, cap shift for extra zip. Press any key to start. So, as you can see, basically, it's bat and ball game. Um, and man, it. It takes me back to the time. So basically, start, I played this game in 1987, 88. Um, we were a family member. Gave my mum and dad um, the Spectrum ZX. <coughs> Pardon me. Um, as a, a basically, as a hand-me-down. Uh, not a hand-me-down, basically, because we hadn't got a computer. We didn't really have much money. And... Um, so, I think if you are familiar with the um, Spectrum ZX, it was one that didn't have the tape deck in, and you had to use an external tape deck. So, Spectrum, for all you younger play, uh, people, there is a few younger people that watch my videos, um, it basically it needed a tape player. It played tape. The games were on tape. So... Um, we just play, just put it in like a tape machine, connect it to said spectrum, and uh, I'm not doing very well. Um, and basically, you have to wait about five minutes, go and make a cup of tea, come back, and your game will have loaded. Well, this is this is back before they had the tape deck in it, the later spectrums, and uh, one of my best friends had a spectrum. And I remember playing, I think, Robocop. It took 10 minutes to load. <laughs> it was crazy, like, how long it would take to load. And, um, but yeah, we, um, this is the only game we got with it. And there was, like, these rubber keys as well. And we used to play it. And didn't do very well, just, like, kind of so. But, it, like, it stuck in the memory for some reason. It just, like, you know, one of the first games I really played as a kid and you know like I said when I was growing up in the 80s we didn't really have you know it, it, either you got lucky to um, like um, could afford like video games and stuff like that that you know yeah the NES was out at the time I do believe and uh, Spectrum and Commodore 64, but you had to have a lot of money back in them days. But you know, but to have something like this, you know, got you know, gets you going and stuff like that. And you can still remember. I remember we used to use a uh, old. I think if you're British, you would understand this um, Murphy tape recorder or tape machine, like them old little tape machines so Murphy I think if you don't know or you wouldn't know they used to be like an own brand of I think it was Dixon's Curry's 
I do believe, or like a cheapo brand. But yeah, we had, so you put the games in there and uh, they will load up. And, uh, but yeah, the, we did have another game. We had World Cup 82, but it never worked. So uh, we only had the one game breakout and that was it. And um, like I said, it just takes it back to a more innocent time. And uh, when things were a little bit simple with games and stuff like that. But yeah, it holds a lot of memories, this. Uh, they did release, it was basically loads of simple games at the time and whatnot. But very endearing and very like replayable and stuff like that. But yeah. It's very I don't know, something very therapeutic about it. Basic but therapeutic. Uh, but all good fun. And whatnot. And I'll say it was very thankful of the I can't remember who it was, but someone in our family gave us this uh spectrum. And, you know, it's really good that they did. And it would lead on to further computer things and down the line, enjoying playing video games and stuff like that. But, yeah, anyway, um, just a short video. First one, bit of a short one. But as I say, it holds a lot of good memories of playing it back when I was like six or seven at the time. I'll well, say it was the late 80s when we got it. Um, mid to late 80s. But yeah. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this short video. Hopefully the next few will be a bit longer. Um, because I'm, there's only so much you can play of this. And um, a very, it's obviously, um, not the best at playing it. But anyway. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. There is more to come. And... Next up, we will be playing a game from the first ever games console I owned as a kid. Um, until next time, you can have put your guesses in the comment section below. Give you a hint, it was built in. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video, guys. Until next time, take care. Greedo XP, signing off.